working with containers is a quite important activity today. And it's so because the applications becomes each time more complex. It becomes separated with one part for front end, another part for back end, another part for database, and sometimes we need more instance of each of its parts. And then we have dependencies. So it's much easier to make all the dependencies together in one container and who want to execute the application don't have to worry with these details when setting up the environment. This person just take some specific Docker file like we like this one and make the configure all the configurations with one base image and set another configurations we'll make to do later and then have the container working. However, these more complex applications that are composed of more than one container, sometimes you need to set up more than one container to have that working and it could become more difficult. And for this purpose, then we have the Docker Compose. Docker Compose is then one command from Docker that access us from one specific file named Docker Compose initiated more than one container together and they are going to be able to communicate each other. First, let's understand our project. Here we have one project composed by one front end, that's a simple HTML project just with one HTML file that performs one request for its dependence, for one backend. And this backend is available here in another folder, that's a node project that's composed just by its file, server.js, and then it has an endpoint named colors, and this endpoint just delivers a list of colors. Okay, so the front end is going to connect here and receive this, this list that's going to be delivered from this port because the server is going to be executed from that. Okay, we could just do a first very initial test running that without containers here executing the front end. I have here a plugin that's the live server that's going to start a server from here from Visual Studio. And like you can see here, if I press F12 and press F5, here is trying to connect in the back end, it fails, of course. And then if I run locally as well, the back end, I can open here from terminal, I'm already inside the back end folder. So I just have to type here node to start the server.js uh, file. It's starting, so now it's listening in this port. And now if we do another request, we have then the, the request successfully performed. So this address here now is answering properly because now we have first end and back end initiated. However, we are not using containers. Now, for running that from containers, we could use the Docker Compose. Docker Compose is quite useful because it's going to initiate two containers together and make them communicate each other. Here, in this Docker Compose, take a look in its structure. Our containers are defined inside this service uh, item. And then we have a backend container, and then we have a frontend container, and here is how each of them are going to be created. So both are going to be created from specific Docker file. So we have a Docker file for backend that is here, and we have a Docker file for frontend that is here. And then each of these containers is going to communicate each other using the specific ports we defined here. So let's take a look in the Docker container each other. For running our backend, we are going to use this Docker file which initiates from one node image that's publicly available from Docker Hub, copy the source code we have to this specific folder, move the pointer to that, and then execute the node command to this specific file as we have done when we run that locally. And the same for the front end. The front end, we just run that from the NGX image, also public available from Docker Hub, and then we copy the source code to this specific HTML folder, and then we go inside that and run the NGX command 
and then we have the front end and back end now executed and ready to be uh, consumed. Okay, but instead of doing that separately, one 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 set of commands per container per Docker file, we are going to do everything together with this Docker Compose. And then to execute the Docker Compose command, it's very simple. Basically, from the directory, you have the Docker Compose YAML file. That's my case here. You can ensure that just listing the files you have in the directory. Here I have Docker Compose YAML, okay? And then from here, we could just type the command Docker Compose up. When doing that, it's going to initiate each of the containers one container named then backend and front end. And here you see it already done both containers were initiated, one for the front end and another for the back end. And as you can see here, the back end is listening in this part and the front end is listening in this part. So basically, if I come here and try from the back end part, it, it's okay, it's executing. And for the front end part, it already is executing. And as you can see here, our response was successfully performed, okay, because here we could try again, you can see here that it was successfully performed using the port we have then um, requested. You can see here, if I try to open a new tab, we are specifically in the port we have initiated from our container, as you can see here. So that is how we use Docker Compose, we set up more than one container and they initiate together just using docker compose up comment. Hope you have enjoyed this video, this role source code and the instructions to execute that that are all documented here in readme file is available to be downloaded. The link is in the description from, from GitHub. Okay, thank you for watching.